guys, welcome to another episode of Amateur Baking Hour. I'm your current here host and baker, Jureta, and today we have a returning guest. Now you say your name. Aiden. 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 Aiden is my son. He is now six years old. Last time he did a video with me, he was five. And do you know what we're going to make today? Yeah? Yeah. What are we making? I know what we're making, guys. We're going to make a lava cake. A lava cake. A molten chocolate lava cake, specifically. Yeah, because it's so yummy, and you can taste it all you want, and you can get all prices you want. That's correct. So the reason why we're making the molten chocolate lava cake is because this Friday, it is Valentine's Day. And who better to do a video with than my own personal little Valentine right here? Yeah. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Yes. This is something, this is a recipe for about two to three. So if you are cooking dinner for your significant other, this would be an amazing, super, super easy, super convenient um, dessert to make. So, and it's chocolate. I mean, seriously, what says Valentine's like chocolates? So let's get started. Before we get started, let's put our ovens to 450. Put your ovens now to 450 so that by the time you gather all of your ingredients, mix everything up, it's ready to go. Are we ready to get started? Yes. Woo! Let's get to work. What we're gonna need is one butter. stick of butter. Unsalted butter would be great. One stick, half a cup. Four ounces of, what's that? Chocolate. Chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips. We're also gonna need Two whole big eggs. Whole big eggs. Two big egg yolks. Yolks. Yolk. One fourth cup of flour. Flour. One third cup of powdered sugar, not regular sugar, powdered sugar. We're also going to get some vanilla, Dominican vanilla. One for one half teaspoon of Dominican vanilla. You guys know me and my Dominican vanilla. And a pinch salt. of salt. You're also gonna need ramekins. Um, a souffle ramekin works perfectly fine. You're going to butter it up and then dust it with chocolate powder. So cocoa powder, dust it with cocoa powder so that you get as much chocolate as possible. Please don't forget your spatulas uh, in the theme of what is it, Valentine's Day? But We're gonna have Valentine's Day, and of course, I'm a dessert queen. You're also gonna need a whisk. whisk. You are going to need a sifter. That's what I'm calling this. We're gonna call this a sifter, not on your face. Mm. And we're gonna need two a bowls. Ball. Two. Let's one medium, one medium? Large. large. Awesome. Now that we have all of our ingredients, our oven is on 450. Remember that. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Yeah. The first thing we have to do is we have to melt together the butter and the four ounces of chocolate. Now, it says to do it in a double boiler for three to five minutes, but I don't have that. So we're going to microwave it in 15 second increments. So we will be right back. Couple of minutes later, and here we have a nice little creamy chocolate and butter mix. Look at that, look how soft that is. We're gonna set this aside while we continue mixing the other ingredients, let it cool. While we put the chocolate aside to cool off, we're going to get the large bowl and we're gonna mix together the flour and the sugar, the powdered sugar. Put your feet down. All right, get your big bowl, get your sifter. Do you want to pour it? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. Come on. First, you're gonna pour the one fourth cup of flour inside there. Can I do it too? Can I mix it? Yes, I'll let you mix it. And then, yes. good job. Next, you're going to pour the one third cup of sugar right in there. And what I'm gonna do, make sure it's all in there. Can I do it? Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. You're gonna hit the side. No, like this. So use your other hand. Yeah. See? Alrighty. Love it. And now you're 
gonna get what's this it's a whisk it took me like six episodes to get it but it's a whisk nice and gentle mm. okay show me so remember you always hold it just mix it enough there now right that looks good now we're gonna let me see we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna get the smaller bowl. And in this bowl, we're gonna put together the eggs. Oh, I know. I you wanna crack the eggs? Yeah. All right, I'll let you crack the eggs, but no shells. I don't want it crunchy. Okay, tap it on the side. With both hands, crack it in. Whippa! <laughs> you look a little scared. You want to do the other one? Yeah. <laughs> Here. Tap it on the inside. Yeah. Ah, look at that. No, thanks. And now we have the two whole eggs. So now we're gonna put the egg yolks inside. Egg yolks. Yeah, hold on. We're gonna get they all fell on my hand. It's okay to fall on your hands. You want me to wash it off right here? Not yet. I did. Okay. Can I mix it? We're going to use a hand mixer because we need to get the eggs as pale and fluffy as it's we can. Ooh, I'm glad you asked. A hand mixer is this. Oh, I want to do that. Awesome tool right here. So. See how nice, pale, and fluffy it looks? Yes. It's so fluffy! Okay, so now that we have the eggs all night and fluffy, yeah. we're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna put the eggs to the, actually, we're gonna bring the big bowl. And now we're going to mix. Yeah, so, which one do you wanna put in here? We're gonna put which the flour. Inside there. You're gonna have to put this inside here. Yes. Okay. Okay, gentle. I'm gonna mix it. Yeah. Nice. Make sure you use your spatula to scrape out every single bit. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it, honey. You're gonna start mixing it, and I'm gonna keep pouring more things inside, okay? Okay. All right, we're gonna gently mix it with your hand whisk now, okay? The house? Yes, your hand whisk. What's the house? This one. Gentle, right here. Here, let's put you in closer. Good job, right here. Now you keep doing that, and we're gonna get the chocolate, the nice melted, cool down chocolate, all creamy. <clears throat> keep going. And let's pour this in. Keep going, keep going. You hear the sizzle? <laughs> yes. Keep going, you have to go faster because if not, you're gonna cook the eggs. Let's cook the eggs. Now that that's in there, let us pour in the last, well, the vanilla. Ooh. Isn't that delicious? Yeah. Yes. Where's the lava? The lava is after. And of course, your pinch of oh, salt. I and when I say lava. pinch, I really do mean a pinch maybe two hey, all right that. The yeah honey. the honey but we're not putting honey in this ah. and then let's make sure we mix everything until red. it's super super chocolatey my oven already beeped so it is ready to go in remember what i like to do it beeped, it beeped already so once we mix it with the whisk do you know what i like to use next I like to use my spatula yeah, to make sure you get everything under. Okay, go ahead there. Yeah, the spatula is to scrape the sides, right? Yeah. And to scrape the bottom. Basically, you bring the bottom up. Look at that. You wanna try it? Taste it. Not with your tongue. Okay. 
Wow, you just, wow. Okay, it's a good thing this is for you. If you're sharing, don't do that. Mm. Hey, man, double dipping. <laughs> All right. I think I it's like ready to go. I'm going to get it. two of the ramekins so far. Aww. I love you too, baby. These need to be nice. Make sure that you butter every corner that you can and do not leave any part of the ramekin undusted and uncovered because then it will stick and it won't work. So once that's ready, ready to pour? Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, okay, you want me to pour? Yeah, come on. Unbelievable. <laughs> Now that these are poured into these beautiful ramekins, they are ready to be put into the oven. We are going to put it first on a cookie sheet. A cookie I have one sheet. right here. So we're gonna put it on the cookie sheet, like so. And then we're gonna place it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. So what you should be paying attention to, first put a timer. I always say put a timer. It drives me crazy when people don't because then they forget and blah, 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 blah. Put a timer. I will put it for 10 minutes because I want to see what it, how it comes out. My oven's a little bit hot already. So timer for 10 minutes. What you're looking for is the outsides should be baked. It should be poofing up, but the middle needs to be nice and jiggly still because that's where the volcano is going. The lava is going to flow out of. So I'm going to pop you the blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm going to say. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Look normal. So I'm gonna pop these into the oven and we'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck. Hi, I am back and this is out of the oven. And just so you guys can see, this is what it should look like, puffed out, but the inside is, the middle is still kind of jiggly. This is super, super hot. Please, please wear oven mitts and stuff. Um, but yeah, we're gonna let this cool for like two to three minutes. You have to let it cool for that amount of time. I don't know if you can see it jiggle a little bit more. And um, yeah, once you let it cool, we're gonna try this out, see if it's true to its form. We're going to take our ramekin cup very gently. It. You can't hold it, because I don't think you want to lose your finger. We're gonna take our plate. Let's move this out of the way. We're gonna take our plate. And what I'm gonna do is this way. Hopefully it slides. Ooh, look at that. Does that look pretty? Nice and clean on the inside because it slid right out. Just like we were supposed to. That is hot. Alright, let's see if it's gonna be molten lava. You ready? Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. try a little piece we have to blow it though because it's super hot don't eat it don't eat it Ooh. you have to eat it why because that's the whole point we have to try it and eat it mm. Mm. ready look at it it's still hot no fine i'll try it first um mm. it's so good it's hot mm -mm. Oh my god. I hope you guys get to enjoy this as much as I am right now. Ready? I'm gonna blow it for you. <laughs> it's too hot.
Sen? Gosh. <laughs> How was it? Bad. <gasps> no! Why do you always say that? It wasn't bad. It was really, really good. Oh, man. I can kill this. It's delicious. But I'm going to save it. So. What? what do we say? We say thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us on another episode of Amateur Baking Hour, where today we made a molten chocolate molten chocolate lava cake. My goodness, here. You can blow it and eat it when you're ready. Oh my God, I'm gonna chocolate and juice this guy. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment below, subscribe, follow, like, all the good stuff, and make sure to tag Whoever, add friends, tell them that this is an amazing show to watch. I think it's pretty fun. Thank you. Four more. No, 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 no. Oh, you do it. He's passing out right now. Uh, the recipe will be up at the end of this do video. Do a thumb up right now. Yeah, there you go. Do a thumbs up. Thank you. Like. And we will very much appreciate it. Happy Valentine's Day and happy baking. Bye. Mm. Say bye. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>